So I'm going to do a little bit on chloroplast structure, which I don't think in the books is that clear, to be honest. But um, I, I think some people have told me they've had a few problems with it. So we'll, we'll try and go through it. So chloroplast is an organelle, which is actually um, surrounded by a, a double membrane, or what's sometimes referred to as an envelope. Um, so again, a bit like the mitochondria, we've got this double membrane structure. Um, and inside we've got all these various bits that we'll, we'll talk about in a second. Um, the liquid part of this is called the stroma, which sits in the middle. Um, the approximate size of this thing should just put on here. Uh, in your books, it's got it between um, 2 and 10 micrometers. If you want to just pick a number in between there, if you put 5 micrometers as a, as a sample, uh, you know, as an example of a size, you'd be fine with that if you can't remember between 2 and 10. Um, and obviously, they're the site of photosynthesis in, in the plant. Now, we'll, we'll break this down a little bit. Um, this envelope, the outer membrane, is pretty much permeable to um, small ions. So things like... Um, get all this one down. Any small charged particles, we're not talking about huge things going in out here, but small ions are free to move through things like hydrogen, for example. Um, the inner membrane is not um, very permeable. In the membrane is not very permeable. And again, all we're trying to do here is, um, whenever, whenever we've got a system where we've got two membranes and one's a bit more permeable than the other, we're basically trying to set something up where we can build up uh, concentration gradients. That's, that's one of the things that we'd kind of expect to see. Um, now, this inner membrane also forms, and this is where it gets uh, complicated, something called a thylakoid. Okay, and these kind of pinch off. There we go. So this whole little thing here is, is called a thylakoid. And the outside bit we can refer to, I'll use a different colour here, as a thylakoid membrane. So that's the bit around the outside here. Okay, remember this inner membrane, because it's the same, uh, this thylakoid membrane, sorry, so it's the same kind of stuff as the inner membrane. It's pretty much impermeable to ions. Okay, and that'll become important in a second. And inside we can call this the um, thylakoid lumen. Remember, lumen is just the space in the middle of two things. So that thing itself is a thylakoid. That is a thylakoid membrane, and inside is a thylakoid lumen. Now, the thylakoid membrane is the site where the light-dependent reaction is going to occur. So, you know, it, the light-dependent reaction is basically that... Um, you know, the Z scheme where we have photolysis of, of uh, water and we, we send the electrons up and you know, we end up making, we have cyclic and non-cyclic. All that stuff is happening in this thylakoid membrane, okay? And in fact, what it does is it pumps hydrogen ions through into the, I don't know why I use that call. It's pumping hydrogen ions through into, uh, into here. It's a little bit like in, uh, it's very like in, aerobic respiration where in the electron transport chain you pumped hydrogens through into the um, space between the, the two membranes okay um, and because it's impermeable to these uh, hydrogen ions they can only flow back through certain channels which in this case is exactly the same as they are uh, the same idea as it was in uh, aerobic respiration let's just um, exaggerate this for a second that would be a channel that hydrogen ions could They've been pumped through, okay, and as they flow back through there, we make ATP. Because remember in this uh, Z scheme, we make ATP at this stage. It's just the same as the um, electron transport chain, really. exactly the same principle. There's slightly different chemicals evolved, but it's the same principle, okay? Now, I think it's the naming part where people have problems. What we want to do is have as many of these as possible, because we want to increase the, the surface area for all these various... Um, uh, coenzymes and so on that, that do the, the um, that are involved in this light dependent reaction. So if you like, if I use a penny to represent that thylakoid, okay, there's one thylakoid. If I make a pile of them using this carefully constructed expensive model, there we go, a pile of thylakoids like that is referred to as a granum. So granum is a pile of thylakoids. And let's try and just 
use it. I was going to say three-dimensional drawing. It's not really it really isn't. Um, if I have more than one of these piles, so now I have two granum, but because it's a plural, I can say that I now have two grana. Okay, grana is the plural of granum. Granum is a pile of the thylakoids. This bit in the middle is just a um, is, is a continuation of the thylakoid membrane, if you like. But um, we're going to refer to it as the intergranal, going between two granum, uh, lamelli, or lamella, singular, okay? Um, but it, it's, it's still structurally similar to the, the granum, to be honest, um, but it's just connecting all these things together. So again, thylakoid is the individual, um, this individual unit, if you like. A pile of thylakoids is called a granum, Several granum are called grana, and you might have within a single granum maybe a hundred of these thylakoids, and you might have probably in terms of tens of grana within a single chloroplast. Excuse me. Um, and I did so I'd mention come back to this stroma. The stroma, the liquid inside, is uh, the site of the light independent reaction, the bit where we have Rubisco and um, TP and GP and all that kind of stuff. That happens in the stroma. Also in the stroma, um, you would have some DNA. The chloroplast has its own DNA. Why? Well, we know, hopefully we know by now, DNA is there to make proteins, so it's responsible for making um, the various enzymes and stuff that it is needed um, in all these different stages of um, photosynthesis. And of course, where we've got DNA and we're making enzymes, we'd also expect to find ribosomes. So if you're getting this kind of question about um, explaining structure and function, um, the structure is all the stuff about the thylakoids and the lumen and how it's um, only permeable, uh, sorry, this, this uh, membrane is impermeable to ions, the outside one is, is permeable. Um, the, having lots of these thylakoids, statin granum to increase the surface area, uh, lots of grana in there. Um, the function is to do with how it helps it do its job. So um, the impermeability is all about pumping hydrogen ions through to make ATP. You could also talk about the DNA and the ribosomes being the stroma. They're needed to make all these proteins to start with. That's, uh, that, that's what you talk about with structure and function.